Now we're going to learn how to configure a database. You'll find it under the Database tab. For ease of use, data structures or tables can be organized within folders. Let's create a folder and call it Library. This folder will contain two tables or data structures, books and authors. Each structure will store information about either books or authors, and they'll both be linked to each other. Let's configure the databases, that is, add and configure the fields to be filled in later. The authors structure will contain the first and last names of the writers. These fields should be of the string type. The field with the year of birth should be of the number type. In this example, it should be a positive number. The books field, that is a link between the author and the book, should be a link field. Note that this isn't just any link. It needs to be the array link type, which is a link from one to many, because each author usually writes more than just one book. When selecting the array link field type, we must specify the structure we'll connect to this field. The last field will be the author's photo, and the field type is image, a subtype of file. Now let's save the data structure and add a couple of objects. The ID field can be filled in or left empty. If we don't fill it in when creating an object, a unique ID is generated automatically. The picture field, which we haven't filled in yet, contains the URL for an image or file. Now we'll use the internal file storage and upload all author pictures and book covers from our PC. Let's copy the URL. In this case, a portrait of Fyodor Dostoevsky. We need to add the URL to the picture field in the Dostoevsky object. Remember that the ID is unique within a table. There are no two objects with the same ID in the same table. But remember that it is possible in some other structures. We've added two objects that correspond to the authors, so now let's set up the books structure. The books structure will have four fields. The name of a book. This should be the string type. Next is the poster or cover art. This is another image type field. Next comes a link to the author. In this case, it's a one-to-one -one link, so we use a link type field and choose the author's structure. Let's add a book. We leave the ID blank, fill in the book title, and save a link to the cover. The link field, the author must be filled in with the ID of the object we're referring to. In this case, it's Leo Tolstoy, an author. We copy this object's ID and save it in a link type field. And as we see, the link works. We see the link to the object as its ID, and we can make it more distinct. Select the visible name options in the field settings of the structure. It could be the first and last name for the author's structure. And the title for the book's structure. After doing that, the fields with the links will be displayed in a much more attractive way. Let's say we already have four book objects and two author objects. Now we fill in the books field with the author's information. This is an array link type field. And the IDs of the objects we're referring to should be separated by a comma. In this case, it's the IDs of the books that are separated by commas. Great, now everything works. We've configured a database structure where two tables are linked 
one-to-one, and one-to-many.